everyone. Welcome to another video. I'm up in the Queen Elizabeth Forest Park today, uh, which is just to the east of Loch Lomond, which I guess most people will have heard of Loch Lomond. Be specific, I'm actually in the Lockhard Forest and it's just after sunrise, which you can probably tell from behind me. No, so, <laughs> sunrise in Scotland in July is uh, just before way too early and it's I think it was about half an hour ago the sun came up uh, but that's okay uh, I didn't miss it I was here I just uh, I wasn't here for the sunrise got three things I'm doing today one is there's a, a small uh, locking just about a minutes half an hour walk away uh, I'm going to go there first because uh, it's a place I, I like, to, I normally visit in, in winter and autumn. I don't think I've ever been in summer actually, but it tends to to mist up early in the morning. Um, usually just after sunrise you get a bit, of, bit of mist rising off the water and it usually makes for some nice atmospheric photographs. So I'm going to go there first. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try that first. If there's no mist, then plan B is to explore this forest right behind me um, and I guess behind me there as well uh, so I'll do a wee bit of woodland photography and on top of all that the third thing is I'm actually scouting for a location for a photo shoot that I'm hoping to do in the next couple of weeks which will be part of a series which I'm um, hoping to exhibit towards the end of this year I've got a location already booked for that but um, with all the things being closed and whatnot folk, uh, venues being restricted in terms of numbers etc uh, I'm not completely sure it's going to go ahead but uh, until I've been told otherwise I'm going to assume it is and continue to take the shots I'm actually way behind with it because of the lockdown I lost effectively three months and uh, I'm starting to panic a wee bit if I'm honest so I need to find a location and what I'm actually looking for is a, a stream I don't really want to go into too much details about what the, the project is at the moment or what I'm looking for but uh, yeah basically I need a stream ideally with something interesting in the background an old ruin or a bridge or something like that uh, but a nice forest would work as well, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's that's in the back of my mind as I'm busy going to take all these other photographs. I'm kind of looking out for a, a location that might work for that particular thing. So anyway, when was it upwards? Yeah, as you can see, it is starting to become bit misty there. Fingers crossed. So yeah, th this uh, this little locking that we're going to first. Uh, oh, the light's starting to. Sorry, let me just starting to break through at the top of the hill there. Yeah, so uh, this little locking that I'm going to is, uh, I think I mentioned before, it's a bit of a favourite of mine. Um, quite small lock, locking. Uh, and then the, when we get a really harsh winter, uh, it, it sometimes freezes over. I've got some nice photographs of it where it's just a sheet of ice. In fact, if you I've ever been kind enough to buy any of my Scottish calendars over the years. It features quite regularly in some of them. Right, and uh, just behind me here. After we've done the... After we've checked out the loch, I'm going to go up that path, up to the top of that hill. Uh, Hopefully find a, a stream. 
who knows. If not, we'll do a wee bit of woodland photography. I guess I should probably admit that this is actually my second time doing this this week. I, uh, as you know, I've only just started the channel. So every day is a school day, right? And uh, I came out here, this is Friday, so on Saturday last year. So was that six days ago? I came out because again, the conditions look great for a misty sunrise. Uh, got all the way here. It wasn't too bad but it uh, wasn't ideal. But the big problem I had was I forgot to charge my video camera. So I had enough battery for about 15 minutes worth of shooting, which isn't ideal apparently. So we're fully charged today, hopefully. And uh, we're on attempt number two. The reason I'm mentioning that <laughs> is obviously I did get 15 minutes worth of shooting. So if I decide when I'm editing this to include some video from the first visit, you're all going to wonder why I'm chopping and changing clothes. So I should really put today into some sort of context for people on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, today's Friday, the first day of my channel. My first video will go live tonight. So uh, <laughs> nobody might be watching this one because you might have all turned off by now. But uh, I've let a couple of people see it so far. And uh, it's, I've had a wee bit of positive feedback. I guess like uh, most people, I kind of hate seeing myself and hearing myself on camera. So that's going to take a wee bit of getting used to. Uh, and I'm also not particularly comfortable with talking to camera while I'm out and about when there's other people around. It's not so bad today because I've got the entire place to myself, <laughs> I hope. But uh, yeah, that's going to take a bit of practice. But I quite enjoyed the process of editing that first video, uh, albeit it took way too long. I think the video was something like seven and a half minutes, eight minutes long. and. Uh, it probably took me about a week to edit it, so uh, that needs to speed up a bit. By the time I'd reached the lock-in, it was fairly obvious we weren't going to get any mist this morning. So I'll take you back to six days ago. quite like this angle so I might see if I can grab a shot here before heading just over to that side um, over these boulders should take me down to the, the lock itself but uh, I'll grab this shot before I go We do have a little bit of light starting to break through over the other side there. And there was just a little hint that we might be going to get some mist too. And uh, now I'm being eaten alive by midges, so uh, I'm going to have to move from here I think. Um, 
which is a shame because the light's just starting to get quite interesting. Now this is a viewpoint of, I've never actually shot from before, so I'm going to give, set up the camera and see if I can capture something from this angle. Because it, uh, if I can get a bit of foreground interest here, and then leading up to these trees with a little bit of mist in the background, then I might make for quite a good shot. Suddenly some mist appeared just off behind the, the islands, so I quickly threw on my telephoto lens, uh, grabbed a little bit of video and then started taking some shots. Typically what happens is I'm busy looking over here, uh, try to capture that mist in those trees there and uh, almost missed out in the lovely reflections and the, the light hitting these trees here. So I'll grab a shot there now. So yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I've just spotted another quite a nice shot. Um, I'll just show you that just now. So yeah, um, I've got the telephoto lens on at the moment, and uh, I'm focusing on. I don't know if you can probably can't see it in here, but there's a little flower that seems a little bit more um, in blossom than the others. So I focused on that, and I'm. Um, just taking a couple of yardy shots there with the telephone. Yeah, the image seems quite sharp. Um, so, uh, yeah, I quite like that. I don't know if that will work in black and white, but or I might just uh, I might just try and bring out the colours a little bit more in Photoshop. But yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> so I think I'm finished here at the loch. The, the light has become quite harsh. Uh, still not seen another soul, which is nice. Um, going to head up to the to the woods now. See if I can get some uh, woodland shots. Although I think I'm going to struggle again with the the direct light. Looks very harsh in those trees. Uh, and. Still got having a look out for this stream. I've seen absolutely nothing yet, so that might be a, that might be an excuse for another trip tomorrow. Here I am. I'm back at the the path into the woods. I uh, can't believe I've done it again. The battery on this video camera is very very low again. 
So I might have to do some shooting with my, my main DSLR. DSLR, yeah. <laughs> I did think about that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to start bringing a charger with me, I think. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Okay, so I think I found another shot in the woods. Um, just make my way up the path and I've discovered this, uh, if you can see that, these old steps that just kind of disappear up. And uh, I'll show you the camera. Basically what I've done is I've, I've framed the shot so that I've got the stairs kind of going up on the side and disappearing off into the, the distance. While on this side we've got a low bank of trees and uh, every now and again, just down in this section here, there's some shafts of light come through and kind of illuminate that part of the, the forest. So, uh, as before, it's another waiting game, I'm afraid. Quite like this shot here. Um, there's uh, one little sapling there that's just catching the light, and it's against a backdrop of uh, kind of mature trees. But then on this tree here, we've got this really mossy uh, bark. So what I've done is I've set up a cotton position in this in vertical format, um, where we've got I've focused on the the moss and lichen on this this tree here, uh, and then that leads pretty much following the path of light straight to that little sapling. Very extreme exposures again, so I've taken about three or four exposures and I'll, I'll blend them together in Photoshop. Yeah, so uh, while I'm waiting for the light to get a bit better, um, I thought I'd have a quick chat about the reason behind having the, the YouTube channel in the first place. Um, basically, I'm, I'm just looking to see if this is a better way of sharing work. I'm very aware at the moment that if I post things on Facebook or Instagram, then not even everybody who likes the page or follows my channel or whatever gets to see it. Um, and I know that YouTube have this notification system. So um, um, ideally I would like everybody that follows me on Facebook to move over and also follow me on YouTube because then everybody who's been kind enough to like my work would uh, would see everything I post. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically just a wee experiment. Thanks very much for watching the video. Um, any comments or suggestions on future videos, uh, just leave a comment. And if you've not already done it, please consider hitting the subscribe and the notification button and uh, I'll see you next time.